So today, we'll be getting back into the Seth Rollins vs. Rey Mysterio storyline because there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes with both Rey and Seth, so we'll take a look at everything going on there. Last week, we talked about how Seth Rollins was reportedly dealing with the pressure from all the other superstars for him to lead a walkout from the WWE, but today we'll be looking at everything going on in the other side with Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio returned to the WWE a few years ago on a short-term contract for a handful of years. While now something really interesting is making headlines everywhere, the latest rumor is that Rey Mysterio's WWE contract has been fully expired for a long time, so he's technically working for WWE under no contract at this current time, according to these reports. So that's really strange, we don't see that quite often. Everyone you usually see on WWE television has some sort of contract and deal with WWE, but reports are claiming that Rey Mysterio is working for the company with no real contract. If this rumor is true, then we really don't know what's going on there. Maybe Rey Mysterio agreed to a temporary extension, had a handshake agreement or a verbal agreement, but it's just really unusual for WWE to be featuring someone in a big storyline when they're not properly under contract. Rey Mysterio is now in his mid-40s and expressed that he does want to start slowing down in the ring soon. But on the flip side, his son Dominic is in his early 20s and just at the start of his own wrestling career. So it's possible that Rey has been sticking around lately just to help jumpstart Dominic's career, introduce him to the viewers, and then Rey will ride off into the sunset. It was reported a while back that the one thing that was keeping Rey Mysterio tied down to the WWE was Dominic. Rey was aware that WWE had plans for Dominic. So many people believed Rey stuck around the WWE to be there for his son Dominic. However, it's looking like the rumors of Rey Mysterio leaving WWE are in full effect once again. After Rey's eye injury from Seth Rollins, WWE teased the idea of this being the injury that made Rey retire from the WWE. Rey has had an eye patch on ever since that moment several months ago, so WWE wants the viewers to fully believe that he's still healing and still being affected by it. Obviously, that injury didn't cause Rey to retire, but what if his next eye injury does? As announced on Raw, we will see Rey Mysterio step back in the ring for the first time in several months in an attempt to get revenge on Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins vs. Rey Mysterio has been confirmed for WWE Extreme Rules, and like we've seen for a handful of years now, every Extreme Rules match always has a unique stipulation. So, due to Seth Rollins' obsession with going after people's eyes, this match was officially confirmed to be an eye for an eye match. In typical WWE fashion, they gave us very limited information on what this match is and how a winner is determined, but telling by some rumors and reports, we're starting to get a basic idea of how the match could look like. It seems like the winner will be determined after the opponent's eye is injured in some sort of way. Other reports claim that the match will feature some CGI and major camera edits for the finish of the match. Now this kind of worries me a bit, the thought of WWE using CGI is a bit scary, because they obviously don't have the best high tier CGI production, so I'm fearful that this CGI moment is going to come out a bit cheesy. WWE has already experimented with the same sort of thing a few months ago on Smackdown. Remember when Elias was on top of the small balcony in the Performance Center, and he was pushed off by King Corbin? That was probably a 5 foot drop in real life, but with WWE camera cuts and edits, they wanted to make it look like Elias fell like 50 feet to the ground. And I remember that moment feeling a little off to me, and I hope that same sort of thing doesn't happen in this match with Seth Rollins vs. Rey Mysterio. The big edited CGI moment has to be during the closing moments of the match, when one of the superstars will do something to the opponent's eye to signify the end of the match. For this match, and considering Rey Mysterio's contract situation, I think I'll have to go with Seth Rollins to win the match. Seth will likely do something even worse to Rey Mysterio's eye, and that could be the official send-off for Rey Mysterio and finally write him off of television. This also makes sense because it will give Dominic even more reasoning to come after Seth Rollins after seeing him really hurt Rey's eye. 
If Rey Mysterio wins, it puts Dominic in a weird place because what does he really do now? They already got their revenge on Seth Rollins, so it leaves Dominic without any real direction. However, if Rey does suffer a horrible injury and is written off of TV in this eye for an eye match, it advances Dominic's storyline and gives him a reason to come after Seth Rollins even more now. Dominic was already coming after Seth Rollins, but it was Rey Mysterio that was calming him down and stopping him from going really crazy. But with Rey now fully out of the picture, Dominic can finally let loose and come after Seth in full force. Then we can see Dominic finally have his first official WWE match against Seth Rollins, possibly at SummerSlam. That would be a great big event for his debut to take place. But as far as Rey Mysterio goes, I'm a bit conflicted. The whole eye for an eye match sort of feels like it can be a match that will end someone's career. Most likely Rey Mysterio's, of course. It's not like Rey Mysterio will go through this big CGI moment with his eye and then appear the following night on Raw. That just doesn't seem right. If a big moment does happen for Rey at the end of this match, then I do expect that to write Rey Mysterio fully off of television for a long time. However, I know Rey definitely wants to be at ringside for his son's first official match. So you have to wonder if Rey will continue to sell the Extreme Rules finish or will come back to stand in Dominic's corner. I like the direction the story is going in because I think it's setting Dominic's story up beautifully. Rey Mysterio has had a long, amazing career and has millions of fans. And with Rey being taken out of action by Seth Rollins, all that support from all those fans will definitely go right over to Dominic. Everyone will support him and would want him to avenge his father, Rey Mysterio. Dominic has been impressive in some of the segments he's taken part in so far. I've seen a few fans point out that Dominic's acting feels a bit off at times, but you gotta cut him some slack. This is his first official storyline in the WWE, so we have to be patient with him and give him time to fully develop. Dominic obviously comes from a historic wrestling family and heritage. So we know he's got all the talent in the world, and it's not like he's being forced to do this as well. Dominic is passionate about wrestling, so you can definitely bet on him giving it his all. Especially when your father is Rey Mysterio. You know Dominic has definitely received a lot of advice from his legendary father that has competed for multiple countries all over the world for the past few decades. So when it comes to being surrounded by some great influence, it doesn't get much better than having the iconic Rey Mysterio right there teaching you everything he's learned. So Dominic is in great hands and everyone is expecting a lot from him. It'll also be interesting to see what route Dominic takes for his first official ring attire. Lately, for all of his appearances on Raw, Dominic has been wearing some very expensive streetwear. So it'll be interesting to see what direction he'll take his ring gear in. Will he compete in his ordinary streetwear or will he have an attire similar to Rey's just as a way to honor his father? That'll be something exciting to look forward to. But before we get into Dominic's future and his big debut, we still have to get through this Seth Rollins vs. Rey Mysterio eye for an eye match at Extreme Rules Horror Show. Also, with these rumors of a big edited CGI moment in the match, which again, I fully believe will be related to the closing moments of the match, WWE is stressing the stipulation of this being the eye for an eye match. So, the winner is going to have to do something extremely over the top to the opponent's eye. That's what leads many to believe that this highly rumored big moment in the match will be Seth possibly doing something huge to Ray's eye. Of course, WWE is still a PG program, so I wouldn't expect anything too crazy. But then again, the match is being aired on the network, so WWE does have more wiggle room to do whatever they like. Now, if this match was airing on Fox or USA Network, then that could have been a problem between the networks and WWE. Fox reportedly has issues with some of the Jeff Hardy and Sheamus segments that we've been seeing over the last few weeks. Fox reportedly wasn't a huge fan of the segment that consisted of Jeff Hardy throwing the liquid at Sheamus. Even the most recent segment of Sheamus talking to Jeff Hardy via satellite was reportedly delayed for a few weeks as well. So you see that the TV networks were having small issues with those sort of segments. Imagine how they would react to this eye for an eye match when we're just expecting for something pretty insane to happen towards the end of it. I don't think the networks would be happy with that match. But since it's on the network, we're going to see whatever WWE has in store for this big finish. What are your thoughts on all the rumors and reports surrounding the Seth Rollins vs. Rey Mysterio storyline? 
Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.